teams about ready to get this one started here in Detroit. Twins and Tigers, next. Nighttime baseball on tap from Comerica Park in Motown. It's the opener of this three-game series between the Minnesota Twins and the central leading Detroit Tigers. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you for this AL Central Division matchup. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons as we delve into our pitching matchup here in the opener. All right, let's check in on the numbers on these guys so far this year, and they're definitely going to have to battle the elements out there a bit tonight. They've got the cold, they've got the wind, and that's not an ideal situation. But in many ways, it's much tougher on the hitter than it is the pitcher. So I'd expect each of these guys to be working in with the fastball. Get it in a little bit more than usual. All right, Steve, EK will join us in a moment, but before he does, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Minnesota Twins. And their starting nine tonight will look like this. They'll go to work against this fellow right here, Venezuelan-born right-hander Anibal Sanchez. And a quick look now at the defensive alignment behind him for Detroit. Eduardo Nunez will move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get under 3-2. Here it comes. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. And he's saying, give me a break. And that pitch is right there. And I tell you, though, complaining like that is... Watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here's a look at the starting lineup for the Tigers now. They'll face a tough matchup indeed as they go to work against veteran right-hander Ricky Nolasco. Defensively, the Twins will align themselves like this. Trevor Plouffe steps in now. Two pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. And this has been the big concern with this guy over the last couple of seasons. He's prone to getting hurt by the base on balls. Already, that's two walks here in the early going, and that's something that he's going to need to get a handle on pretty quick. Brian, now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing-nothing for the first out. J.D. Martinez will dig in in this season's cert game. Here's a fastball that's wrapped out to left center, and this is going to get down for a base hit. Xavier Avery will dig in here. And here's the first pitch. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the pond to start the third. Jordan Schaefer will get his first opportunity now. Currently the American League's leader in stolen bases. Now here's the first pitch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. And there you see the full list of stolen base leaders in the American League entering play. 
A lot of guys swing right over the top of that. That's a great job there just to hold off. Well, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. In now, Eduardo Nunez. As the first pitch to him is in there for Rochez. This is up the middle, and it's going to get into center field. It's a two-out hit. No, he's safe. Danny Santana will Danny dig in. Santana. No official at bat yet as he does. Another 1 2 delivery. Three. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. One left for Minnesota. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Anthony Ghost will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. It wasn't just that he was getting fastballs there. He was getting hittable fastballs. This pitch is a ton of the plate. He turns it around for a solid single. Now the first pitch. A pitch out. The throw. Skips in and he's safe. But he's in there. Well, that's no surprise to anybody that he's running right here on the first pitch. And these guys defensively, well, they know it too. But that just shows you the kind of speed he has out there. Because even with the pitch out, he's still able to. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. A goal here in the fourth. Oswaldo Arcia will stand in. A line-out victim is for live here, still two and two. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And here you go, one more time. You keep making quality pitches, keep getting quality out. And that pitch right there on the outside corner, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that pitch. In is Torrey Hunter. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. There's Trevor Plouffe will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. The pitch. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And he is in there. Brian Dozier will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the three hits. And no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. And the run will score as the Twins grab the early 1-0 lead. Well, this is a huge mistake here because once this ball gets away and gets out of play, that means the run will be allowed to come home and score. And an unlucky start to the fourth that time as the leadoff man is set down. Victor Martinez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. To end the threat. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Leading off with the Twins, the center fielder, Jordan one. Schaefer, will make Jordan his way towards the box Schaefer. to lead off the fifth. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And no, the throw safe. will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. The batter, number nine, shortstop. Eduardo Nunez Eduardo will dig Nunez. in. He singled his point. Schaefer goes. Hey. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. He's safe. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Now the Tigers have some action in the bullpen as a left-hander starts to get out of the pitch. Reached for and popped into the air, back behind second. There to take it is the sure-handed Iglesias, one away. Danny Santana will have another go. He struck out looking his left. So one and two with one away. Breaking ball, whole third strike as that catches his own for out number two. Boy, at the very least, 
If you're going to go down, go down swinging. That's a tough way to make a second out when you've got a runner in scoring position. So here's Joe Maurer. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. So far, he's not afraid to work inside. Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will score from second to make this a 2-0 ball game. Oswaldo Arcia will try and keep things going now with the runner at first. Idea to run something in tight. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Twins get a run on two hits. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Twins two and the Tigers nothing. Xavier Avery will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the... And look out as this bat shatters on impact. Closing fast and he makes the diving catch. Yeah, there's a ball right there, not hit very hard, so he's got to cover some ground in a very short amount of time. He lays out there to pull it in. Nice play. Is over. Corey Hunter will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Now a swing and a miss, and Torrey set down for the first out of the inning. Well, he is definitely doing his part out there. We'll see his line so far. He's keeping his guys in the ball game, just not getting any help offensively. And that ends the inning. Alex Avila will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Anthony Goat will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed. I wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. A bare hand for one. On to Maurer. It's a double play. Ian Kinsler will dig in for a third time now. He's popped out and, and the pitch. Swing and a line drive to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. Miguel Cabrera will step in now as his guys look for a great three so far on the year. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that's a fair ball. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. And he's going to make it easily. It's a stand-up triple. It's a big at bat there with two way. The RBI triple touch the lead for one. And now if they get another base hit here, they could very quickly tie this ball game. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez as he takes a fastball off. The, here's the two and two offering. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. And they'll tie the ball game as the run scores, evening things at two. J.D. Martinez will dig in here. One for two. He singled and grounded out. Action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Now the first pitch. Swing and a line drive. But that's a foul ball. From the stretch. Line to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Around third and being waved on home. And the go ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's three to two. So they pick up three runs on five base hits, no errors, and one man left on. We're through six full. It's the Tigers three and the Twins two. Lane Hardy 
comes out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Number 65, Lane Hardy. He puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Pitch on the way. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. Avery will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Down go the twins in order. They trail three to two. New pitcher set to take over the hard throwing right hander Blaine Boyer. Nick Castellanos will dig in now. Hitless in his two at bats so far. Number Nick Castellanos. Balls hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. And now pitch on the way. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Yeah, good start to the inning there. You could see him really turn on this pitch and drive at that time. He'll wind up popping over the wall out there, but no matter, he was going to be in easily with two anyway. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. The fly ball way out to right center and no one will track this one down it's going to fall in there for extra bases and they'll add another run to their lead as the run scores from second to make it four to two now and they're right back in business again he's in with a triple yeah and no matter how many of these you see in your lifetime this is still one of the most exciting plays in all of baseball you can see he's not stopping around in second base and he makes it all the way to third there with an rbi triple so a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left-hander here. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila. Hit pretty well as this is out toward deep center. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And they will tack on another on the sack fly, make it a 5-2 game now. Anthony goes. We'll get another crack. One for three. One. Now here's the pitch. Swing and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. And boy, the Tigers really have it going as that's good for extra bases as well. And he'll round it and try for third. And they'll keep it going here as he's in the third base way now. Oswaldo Arcia. Stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Twins are set down one, two, three, and the deficit remains five to two. Victor Martinez will lead things to one zero. Oh. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And that'll get by into left field, so he's on to lead off the inning. The last there. Thinks he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence. But he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot end. Joaquin Soria is on. Corey Hunter will be the one that leads things off, trying to get 0 and 2. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Third baseman number 24. Trevor Plouffe Trevor will stand in, but with the top now the pick. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. The 
Brian Dozier will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Payoff pitch one more time. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away. And it's still folded three and two. And finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Well, this is how you got to do it. If you give up a two run home run, you got to just move on quickly. He's still upset about it. Don't get me wrong, but it's when you dwell on it that you get yourself into more trouble. Kurt Suzuki in trouble now, down 0-2. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first ball strike. It's still on his mind. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Jordan Schaefer will step in with the tying run on first. Deal with another full count. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Now he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. That is a big time to come up with a strikeout in a tight game like this. Still got that tying run over there at first, but two away now, you don't necessarily need a ground ball to get you out of this. Eduardo Nunez. We'll get another crack, one for her. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. So on to first, we'll take care of them, and the Tigers have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Well, that was a pretty shaky save, all things considered. He gave two of those runs back here in the ninth, but he winds up getting the job done in the end, and that's all that really matters.